Hi, hello, I am Francesca Treasure back on the channel with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be doing Q&A get to know me questions while I do my everyday, you know, very simple, amazing, put together. <laughs> natural makeup routine my makeup is typically never heavy or my style of makeup is typically never heavy so i hope you enjoy first question will be what's your full name guys my full names are francesca treasure oluwa Shion. so i guess that brings the question where are you from i am from nigeria ondo state to be precise and i am a yoruba girl <laughs> The next question I see here is what's the meaning of your name? <laughs> Guys, quick disclaimer, I do not speak my language, unfortunately. So let's keep that. Oh my God, this is so emotional. The next question is, who are you named after? Oh my God, quick backstory. My mom had a younger sister that she was very close to that passed away. So my mom named my elder sister after my mom. They actually named six. And my mom named my me after her younger sister francesca so that's where the name actually came from i'm going to be making strokes and when i do this i like to sort of lift my eyebrows up the next question is where did you grow up guys i grew up my entire life in lagos nigeria after high school i moved traveled to cyprus all of my adult life i've lived in cyprus da, i'm going to be going in with Pro concealer. Interesting question says, what do you like about yourself? So I'm going to be going in with this. One thing I would definitely say that I like about myself is my ability to just like sort of stay calm through certain situations. Like I could be like going through the most and I'll just play it cool basically. Like act like nothing is popping and i'll handle it like behind closed doors and also i wouldn't say i'm quite forgiving but i would say i let things go do you understand so it says what time do you go to bed well i guess oh you should check out my 6 a.m morning routine video that one is quite it's quite interesting I, I would say i'm an early bird okay i wouldn't say i go early to bed because i go to bed typically around midnight 11 p.m midnight and i'm up by like 5 6 a.m um by the way why i'm not putting um any lotion or something is because i used a lot of lotion this morning my skin is going through a lot right now i've been trying to moisturize to see if i have rashes i don't know if it will actually go another thing is i typically try not to put foundation on my forehead i feel like i don't have enough forehead space <laughs> I'm taking a wet beauty blender to sort of lightly very lightly touch on another question goes would you consider yourself a friendly person well to be honest i'll consider myself a very smiley person but no matter how nice i am my niceness has a limit to be honest i do not tolerate disrespect <laughs> no matter like even just a you know cheeky little smirk like if you look at me funny, I cannot be nice. If I, like I'll say nice people are those people that are nice regardless of rudeness or regardless of disrespect. But me, my own has a condition. I'm only nice to people that are seemingly sweet. Blank, blank, blank. I try to get the foundation as thinly layered on my skin as possible. Why? Because I don't want to look cakey. Do you understand? I'm going to be taking Mac Studio Fix right now. Did you go to college? Yes, I did. I'm actually done. Uh, the next one is, how long was your longest relationship? Oh, it was, I think a little over four years or there about four years. And after that relationship ended, I will conveniently say that I no longer believe in dating for a long time. Like if there is no foreseen end to the relationship <laughs> i don't 
I don't want to be in it. I don't want to know. Like I'm, I'm really not trying to date nobody for over two years. Like, what, what are we doing? What are we talking about? What's the first item on your bucket list? Okay, I'm actually going to make a video about this particular topic, but like, it will just be closed. Like, <laughs> I just want clothes, then travel. Yeah. My most memorable childhood. Ah. Oh my God. Hmm. I don't know if I want to talk about my childhood, so let's just leave that there. What social media platform do you use the most? Snapchat. But I don't view nobody but Snapchat. It says, what are your life goals? Oh my God. Oh, guys, by the way, I'm an architect. I studied architecture in school and my life goal would, the one I'm comfortable talking about right now, would definitely be making sustainable architecture more prominent in Africa. I'd love people to be more aware about what it is. That's where like the whole topic of my clothing, my fashion sense revolves around. But how many countries have you traveled to? I have been to four countries in my entire life. How pathetic. I want to travel some more to be honest. Tea or coffee? I'm not a coffee person. I do not like coffee. I think it's bitter. I think it's ridiculous. I'm a tea girl. I love I love tea. Open though, like when I would go for like coffee dates, I will have tea. Who is your best friend? Hmm. Have you seen who is your best friend though? How many? Okay, there are two. One says who is your best friend, and the other one says how many boyfriends have you had? I have a number of extremely close friends, so. I don't really know. I actually don't really know. But like, yeah. Then how many boyfriends have I had? <laughs> I don't think I'm comfortable answering that. I would answer that in person, but not like on YouTube. You get like, don't worry, when I've gotten married, I'll tell you guys. I just feel like those kind of things are a little bit TMI. How tall are you? I am 5'10". I think 5'10". Some people say I'm 5'11", but I don't think I'm that tall because people who are six feet are, t are way taller than me. What's your favorite store? For, for when I'm rich, rich, LV, Louis Vuitton. And for now, I would say there's this Turkish brand that I like so much. I think it's called Twist. Guys, I told you I use a lot of powder, right? <laughs> Probably too much. But yeah, I love the texture of this powder. It's so nice. Okay, guys, so I'll be going in with Laura Mercier, translucent. This one, these questions are getting really personal. This is saying, what's my worst relationship experience? Um, I mean, that's a whole long story on its own. But I will say, when I say betrayed, because let's just say, when I needed the person the most, the person wasn't available. And that was sad. Sad little girl. I'm crying. That's the only experience that can actually make me feel some type of way, like me believing that you are my person, and then they are not. They are now find out that you are not really my person. That hurts. Even in friendship, I feel like that hurts so much. To be honest, guys, I like looking very neutral. So even though this is a simple makeup routine, I'm still going to go in with some, just give like a brown tone to my eyelids. This one is asking about my favorite spots. Okay, so I'm actually not an athletic person. I wouldn't say I'm big on spots, but I love swimming. That's the only thing I think I know how to do. So swimming or oh, basketball, I love basketballers. <laughs> I love them so much. They're so big and tall. Ew. Anyways, what's the most important thing for you in life? Hmm. For me, I'm, I'm actually going in with dark purple right now. Most crucial thing in life for me is family. But it would definitely be like my immediate family. That's like kids, a cat, and a white picket fence. <laughs> but yeah. Because deep down in my heart, I know for a hundred percent fact that I just feel it. I know that I'm going to be quite successful career-wise, 
but when it comes to family it's almost like something that is in your control but out of your control so is it ever really going to happen you don't know so that's something that i low-key want wish but i don't know you you get it but yeah it's important to me regardless i know i'm i'm definitely have them kids but yeah the next one says who is the most crucial person in your life i would say my dad sometimes i'll be losing my damn mind <laughs> But my dad is always able to talk to me like he's always able to help me to be calm basically other than family i would say um, i have this friend that we sort of talk all the time like so automatically kudos to amina for always being there even when i'm being ridiculous she's still there like you get me so amina is really nice what was your first job okay mm, this is quite interesting so basically, my first job was self-created, which was uh, businesses that I had start, I had done in the past. I've done, I've sold a couple of things in the past, so that would be my first job. I'm going to be going in with a light color. So guys, I'm using my finger tip because I'm big. I'm going to be going in with a kajal. I love that, you know, dark line in my eyes. The next question is, what's your dream country? So to be very, very honest, I used to be very obsessed with the United States, but like seeing everything that happens there, now I'm confused. <laughs> I'm very confused as to where I want to go but I know that I'd have to choose somewhere that will be best for my kids so it's not really open about me I would my dream country would just be the place that is best for my kids to be honest ah this it says if you could change one bad habit or one weakness what will it be hmm mascara okay to be very very honest with you sometimes somebody can be joking like the person is just joking with me like it's just a joke like francesca it is just a joke i'm angry <laughs> i say i'm angry <laughs> i find that i'm very i'm slow sometimes to people's humor or I take it too serious until you explain to me but when you explain to me i'll just be like okay okay cool Oh, do you prefer to hang out with many friends or with few people? I love intimate things, to be honest. I love it to be intimate. Like, don't be out here trying to bring God knows who from the pit of hell. Like, stop it. <laughs> stop. Let's spend some one-on-one -on -one time, especially if we're not that close. If we're not that close, then we need to spend some one-on-one -on -one time before I get to meet the gang. You get after that, okay, fine. And even if we're in a crowd, I still need some intimacy. Like, it still needs to be me and someone or me and two people. Like, I'm not really out here trying to be ha 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 he he with everybody there. Like, I just wouldn't do that. So, I love, I love intimacy. How would you like spending your birthday? Enjoyment. Oh, this is very interesting it says do you prefer people who are blunt or do you prefer people who are careful with their words okay for me it's sort of be as blunt as possible but when is a sensitive conversation maybe i have done something or you have done something that is when you need to be careful with your words on a normal day we're talking we're giving each other banter we are we are dissing each other and just being friends that's amazing but like when is a sensitive conversation when is something that you know it's you just have to choose your words wisely because maybe in a correction in terms of correcting someone or telling the person that the way they are going about their life is wrong in sensitive conversations you really need to choose your words wisely because <laughs> on some block <laughs> gonna be taking blush pink blush guys i'm going in with a lip pencil around my to use this um eyeliner just to create a little bit of darkness it's almost like you're drawing the smallest wing possible just just almost like a very a very small v a very small line to um, 
just to elongate your eyes a little bit like give a little cut eye and this this is what i would typically look like i hope you like the look i hope you try it out if you have any questions maybe for a get to know me part two you can feel free to dm me or comment down below tell me what you liked about this video or what you didn't like stay beautiful stay blessed and please subscribe and check out my other videos bye